We were talking about <laughs> songs on the album. Uh-huh. She's definitely going to have a love song, and I'm bringing back the whole idea of the quiet storm on that love right, song. Right, I'm right. Talking, the ballad. I'm the ballad. I'm, I'm talking making some children. Right. You know, I was talking to, uh, shout out to Peter Allen. He's the uh, program director and station owner over at 95P Jams, our syndicated station in, in Houston. I was talking to him over the weekend, and we were talking about, well, I don't know if I can say this word. We were talking about the difference between make, making love songs and making sex songs. Yep. That yeah. wasn't exactly the wording that we used. Mm-hmm. In other words, Chris Brown versus... Ronald Isley. Ronald Isley. Versus even Keith Sweat and, and, and uh, what's the other R&B singer? <laughs> Joe? No. Oh. Joe's a singer. I, yeah, oh, na- a- you talking about now? Yes. The, uh, Chris, uh, um, what, the, the Weeknd? Chris weekend? Brown, no, the other... Uh, I can't think of the name. No, not Usher. Usher's a singer-singer. No, he's a singer-singer. Um, the, the, I think he's talking about... I don't know. Anyway, the point the point is that there's a big difference in R&B mm-hmm. in, in not only the, the, the vocal capabilities and the, and the musicianship, but the subject matter and the tone is different. Right. Yeah, yeah. the tone there's is different. There's nothing wrong with being sexy, but right. my thing is... Get them to the bedroom. Right. You know, oh. and t- bring back intimacy in love That's songs. What right. they need. That's what's I'm missing. You, yes. The intimacy in love songs. Exactly. I don't I don't want to hear what you're gonna do. Just do it. Trey but songs. That's what I was thinking. I was getting ready to say it, but I couldn't get it yeah. out. Carrie's gonna will show you just what you were made. 